Hey guys, Simply Betta here. Today I'm going to be making a cinder block shelf. I have this space in my house where I have a few tanks and it just, it doesn't look very good. If this corner could make a sound, it'd be... I don't like the way it looks. I've never liked the way it looks. My goal is to make it look as good as I can while it's still being a cinder block shelf. These kinds of shelves are really strong and sturdy, but they're not known for looking very nice. Uh -uh. Let's face it, they're hideous. So my goal when building this is to make it look as nice as possible. Wish me luck. I don't have a skill saw yet. So today I'm doing it manually. I'm using 2x10s because I thought they'd look nice. I marked on all my boards where I want to cut. That seems like an obvious step, I don't know. Okay, another pretty obvious step. Hair ties. Oh, hi Phoebe. Good workout. It's getting dark, so I'm, I'll am i have to pick this up tomorrow and run to the hardware store and get some more sandpaper. Now I'm going to sand down all my wood. I really wish I had that uh, belt sander, but I don't. I'm gonna have to do it the, the hard way. Here it is! I think it turned out pretty well. Pretty well for a cinder block shelf, that is. I don't think it will be winning any design awards anytime soon, but it's functional and it doesn't look insanely ugly. Just a little ugly. Just a skosh ugly. Before moving the goldfish tank back onto the new shelf, I painted the back of it black. I decided to move the wood spacer piece that was in between the cinder blocks. I felt like they were a little slippery and I wanted the cinder blocks to be resting on each other. I made sure everything was perfectly level with some spare pieces of wood and shims. See this empty space? That is where my new tank is going to go. Stay tuned, I have a beautiful species of wild betta that will get a big new tank all to themselves. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and have a great day.